Yo, what's good, man? It's the kid, JR Swag Life TV. Baby Swag TV, cooking plus more. And we are back, man, with another video for y'all. I know it's been a minute since we posted. You know what I'm saying? Just been trying to, you know, just be slow motion with things. And, you know what I'm saying? Want to bring you guys the right videos and, you know, things like that. But, you know what I'm saying? This is something that me, myself, personally, um... I don't think I've seen anyone do this, but if they have, shout out to you, whomever you are. You know what I mean? Uh, if I have seen it done, it's been a minute ago. You did. But without further ado, man, we're going to uh, let y'all know what we're having. We're going to get into it. And, yo, if you're new to the channel. Welcome. Welcome. It's your host with the most abundant cloud of YouTube. Swear like TV, ladies, swear like TV, cooking plus more. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop down in them comments. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you think. Let and let know. us know what you're thinking. Smash the like button, man. Give this video a thumbs up. You dig? And last but not least, share, share us out. And most definitely, make sure you drop down, hit that post notification bell, so you'll always be notified every time we upload a video. If you are already part of the fam, welcome back. You know what it is. You know how we keep it. We keep it goody in the hoodie. Gucci on this side, B. But we're going to bless the hands, even though we don't need it. You feel me? Oh, you need it. We're going to bless the food, and we're going to get into it, all right? <clears throat> all right, so what's good, man? What's popping? What's Gucci? You feel me? Tonight, man... Bringing y'all some munchy food. Some munchy food. Because it's like probably like 1 a.m. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like 1, 1 o'clock. You know what I mean? Just got through cooking this. Exactly. I made a, a awesome blossom, mock sticks, jalapeno poppers. Exactly. Then we got the homemade sauce. You feel me? We got the, for the awesome blossom. There you go right there. You know what I mean? For the jalapeno poppers mm -hmm. and all that. You feel me? But yeah, man. Ain't brought you guys a video in a couple of days. You feel me? The last thing we posted was um, just like a little snippet of the little man's birthday. Our little shorty birthday and everything. He turned six. And so, you know. Just wanted to bring y'all that, man. You know what I mean? But yo, I had a whole thing planned out to talk about tonight, but got the fan on deck, you feel me? But <laughs> yo, what we watched last night. About three, four something in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it was right this morning. Now, everyone can probably say, whether you're male or female, that at some point in time that you were a wrestling fan in your life. Mm -hmm. So, last night, you know what I mean? A little tipsy. A lot of high. <laughs> we was watching Vice. We were watching the Vice Network or the Vice Channel. And um, came across this show called The Dark Side of the Ring. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Y'all get a bite of that. There's that, bloom, there's that awesome blossom. You feel me? And... Uh, Yo, that's perfection right now. We had caught maybe like the tail end of one episode. It was about a, a wrestler 
from the 70s and 80s called uh, Gorgeous Gino Hernandez. And, uh, anyway, the one that came on after that was about Chris Benoit. Now, I knew some details of the case. You know what I mean? Because, hell, yeah, when was that he killed his wife and kids? Like the mid? When it 04, 05, something like that. Something like that. So, all I know is, being a wrestling fan, You know how we in the hood talk. It was like, yo, damn, this nigga Chris been wild and spat down and killed his whole family and his so Wrong. He did that. But they didn't put it out there like that at first because they didn't know. Exactly. But of course everyone knows that, yeah, he was guilty. He killed his son, his wife, then himself. And, uh, and if you're old enough, I'm pretty sure you can remember when Eddie Guerrero died. Eddie died first. So, like Lady Sway said, Eddie Guerrero died first. Mm -hmm. He died in like 04, 05, and I think it was like. Thing was like oh seven, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So they just talked about how, from a young child, going to his very first wrestling match with his father back in Edmonton, Canada, how he knew from that age, at like age six or seven. Yo, I want to be a wrestler when mm -hmm. I grow up. Professionally. So. Vice. They did a very good job. They did. And. Having those. People that was around during that time. give their timeline of events that happened and what led up to you know what I'm saying Chris Benoit doing what he did so if everybody can remember Eddie Guerrero died they did the tribute to him on Monday Night Raw. And so they let wrestlers speak. Mm -hmm. And when Chris Benoit spoke or gave his little, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to miss you, Eddie, and all that. Dude, he could barely do it. It was like sad to watch. Mm -hmm. Super sad to watch. You know, because this is yeah, a... Yeah, I'll go get a bite of the house, Papa. This was an individual that just lost their best friend. So, they show, you know, chronologically, you know, even those that are still in the WWE today, back in the late 80s, early 90s, you know what I mean, how Chris Benoit came up through the ranks, mm -hmm. things like that. So, if you can remember... 
that one particular finishing move that Chris Benoit had, where he dove off the top rope. And he the had butt. And he had butted you. Mm-hmm. The head butt. So like we all said, back in the day, early WCW, WWF. It was real. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? When you seen these cats flying off the top rope or jumping off of these steel cage matches and, you know what I'm saying, throwing somebody into a table or... Hitting each other with the chairs. Hitting each other with the chairs and all of that. That that was real. Okay? So, imagine doing that over the course of... Of 20 years. It's just like a football player. A football player cannot walk away from the game. When they retire. And say. Even if it wasn't a concussion. They can't say, oh, I don't have headaches. I don't suffer from mood swings and anything like that. Because you take enough headshots, you know. I was glad that Vice came out and shed some light on it. That was the reasoning behind him doing what he did. Yeah. Because because I don't think they just stopped talking about it. Once once it came out what he did, yeah. it was just hushed from that point on. Yeah. They didn't talk about him anymore. So you exactly. didn't, so we never got even the understanding of what happened, why he did it. Yeah. I mean, you know. Because like I said, I mean, not knowing an inside to an individual's life, mm -hmm. you can only give your opinion of them. With what you see, what with what you see them do at work, yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, or something like that. But Chris Benoit was a family man, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. He adored his wife, he loved his sons, he he loved his sons, you know what I'm saying, and he felt guilty when. He which I'm pretty to sure match those after match and not be there, and which I'm pretty sure those parents that. Work those demanding schedules and things like that. They may not want to miss things, but because that's their obligation, mm -hmm. they have to. So, he was a loving individual when it came down to his family. But when it broke that he did what he did, And you had the doctor speak on it. Mm -hmm. It was like. It was sad to hear how many concussions he had had. And how much brain damage there actually really was. That was just sad to hear. Because. I can tell you, being a former athlete, even from, you would think, as young as Little League, you have some Little League players that be out there hanging. Yeah, they do them little boy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And true enough, they not hitting you with the force no, like a and the man. energy that the grown man will hit you with, but... Even that young, I liken that to a baby rattlesnake or, or, or a venomous baby snake, you know what I mean, who doesn't know how to use the right amount of venom to mm -hmm. do or get the job done that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. But I say all of that to say that if it wasn't for the concussion and the steroid use and drug use, and everything like that, that 
Tell Chris my wife still be here today. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think so. I think. Hope everybody is being safe. Be in quarantine because we still doing it. We're not going out unless we necessarily just have to. Hope everybody is practicing social distancing. Yes. Because some of the things that people are posting on social media going to this kickback. The people houses and stuff. That's just crazy. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why we as people have to be so hard-headed. Like, seriously. Or, or it's just I guess it have to hit home for some people to take it serious. Well, it don't have to hit my home. Okay. I know, like, <laughs> yeah, it don't have to hit my home for me to take it serious. Mm -mm. Because we just, wifey was on Facebook shortly before we came in here to cook. And I guess at the, at the particular time of this post, it was March 26th. Okay, now what I want you all to do is go and read Isaiah 26 chapter, verse 20. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And read what it says. Because for those that are taking this to be a joke and Things like this. Now, this is something that I never do on our channel. But I guess from time to time, I like to show you guys that we're multifaceted on this side. Yeah. Everybody need to be praying. Or and and that's real talk, hands down. You truly need to wake up. Yeah. Because, yeah, I may have said jokingly that this was population control it this is was so still, it's, it, it, yeah. and things like that but it still is. if you feel as though that this doesn't have a biblical or a spiritual feel to it then you need to wake up yeah real talk know your word too you know what know i mean your word because oh, read it for yourself. Just read it for yourself. That's all we ain't gonna go that deep off into it. we ain't gonna take you to church. Exactly. Just read it for yourself. But Trust nobody judgment when it comes to that, except for your own. We finna get up out of here, man. Just wanted to bring y'all a quick little video. Like I said, we ain't brought y'all a video in some days, so, you know. But yeah, man, shout out to everybody that been rocking with us. Shout out to those who don't know us yet. Because I guarantee you we're famous. <laughs> it's just the famous people don't know us. You feel me? But yeah, man. Oh. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Swag Like TV. Play Swag TV Cooking Plus More. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Drop down in the comments. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you think. And let us know what you're thinking. Share us out, man. Why? Because sharing, sharing is caring. caring. And last but not least, go ahead and drop down and get your eagle on and hit that post notification bell. You know what I mean? So you'll always be notified every time we upload a new video. If you're already part of the fam, welcome back. You know how we do. You know how we keep it, keep it Gucci on this side. Keep it good in the hoodie. Make sure you tune in for the next video. Same swag station, same swag channel. You know how we keep it, keep it splashy, keep it classy. And always remember. Love, live, life. It's your host with the most, the Bonnie and Clyde of YouTube, Swag Like TV. Lady Swag TV, cooking plus more. And we out, man. Peace.